I've never made a video like this one. This is in tribute to a friend of mine yesterday afternoon, which I think was August 4th, around 3 p.m. Tim left us. silent passing. He was prematurely old. Arthritis and strokes will do that. I haven't seen him in about nine years. But every year on his birthday, I'd send him a text and he always responded. We'd just chit chat for a moment, usually about music. Well, he left me something. It's big. It's a song. It's an inspiration. He left me moments of great joy and pleasure. Tim was overly talented. His songwriting, lyrics, and music touched my heart and my life in eternal ways. About a decade ago, Tim asked me to arrange, uh, do some simple orchestration for a song that he had written. I'd never done anything like that, uh, but I knew I had to. He was he liked what he heard, and he told me that he'd had about, uh, ten, he has about 10 more songs to go with it. All were from perspectives of men and women who knew Jesus Christ. There was Peter, Mary, John, Pontius Pilate, and others. I wanted to know more, so a few days later we met, and he auditioned all the songs for me. Each note, each lyric, they were just dead on. And to me, the songs were all related, and, and, it put a, and if put in a chronological fashion, they would be telling the passion of Jesus Christ. I told him so, and he just laughed. I said, well, who's putting all of this together? And he said, put what together? I said, who's doing costumes? He said, what costumes? I said, who's who, who's doing all the sets and the design? He said, what sets, what design? He hadn't done anything. He said, organization's not his talent. He said, if you want to do something, go ahead and do it. Well, I kind of stepped up to the challenge and said, all right, I, I, I will do this. I didn't even know what I was doing. Okay, Tim, when are, when are these songs to be performed? He said, oh, Easter. I said, that's in two weeks. He said, yeah, two weeks. Oh, my goodness. The next two weeks were chaos. But he gave me permission to do it however I saw fit. So instantly, God gave me a team. It ended up being about 120 people. I got a very talented um, playwright. He made a beautiful script. I had to get audio visual, I had to get cameras, I had to get lighting, I had to get actors, I had to get background singers, I had to get sets designed. I had to finish arranging the song that he'd asked me to do, which would be the finale, and it's also the title song, Sweet Resurrection. Now, what happened those next two weeks is something I can only describe as my Red Sea moment, uh, my Walls of Jericho moment, my killing of Goliath moment. Everything came into place. Had people over here working on sets and people over here working costumes, people over here working on songs. and Nobody knew what anybody else was doing. Everybody was just working and I was just making a lot of phone calls to see what's happening. Well, I, I completed the title song, and I created scores for each instrument, the flutes and the, the brass and the different keyboards. I was going to have to cheat because we didn't really have an orchestra, but I, I, I made the scores for all the instruments. I made um, scores for all the singers, the background singers, and now we were just days away. We hadn't even had a rehearsal, so I thought, when are, when are we going to have a rehearsal? I scheduled one Everybody could finally get together the day before the performance. It, was, it would be a Saturday. So I think it was, I don't know, late in the morning, or early. It was late in the morning. Yeah, it was late in the morning. Got about 120 people together. Many of them had never seen the entire script. The lighting director wasn't there. The audiovisual people, it was their first time to see what was really going on. The costume people were going, oh, my goodness. So this is what you're doing. We had run completely out of time, but I was hoping that afternoon, here we were 
just less than 24 hours away from the performance. And I thought, well, this afternoon we have got to get out two complete rehearsals. We didn't even get one. A light snow was falling and was beginning to cover the ground a little bit. We got partly through, uh, through, the, through a rehearsal. We noticed more snow coming down. Eventually, there were about five inches of snow. It was no longer dry and powdery. It was very wet. It was sticky. So I had to send everybody home. We didn't even get a rehearsal. The next day, everybody showed up early. Next, that next day was Sunday. Everybody showed up. And I could smell wet paint. I found out the set designers had been up all night long. And they were telling us, don't touch this, don't touch that. Tell the stagehands to be careful when they move this or that because they'll wipe paint off of it during the performance. I could smell hairspray. I could smell beard glue. I could hear people nervously chatting. I could hear instruments warming up. I could hear singers vocalizing. And now it was time. I passed out scripts to everyone. Now, the different singers and soloists would know when they were supposed to go on stage. The stagehands now had something to tell them when they were supposed to move props. The lighting technician showed up. He, he did a good job, but this was his first time to see a script. The audiovisual people, I thought they did a, a great job reading the script. So as it came time to start, I took my place in the back of the church, stood against the wall. I'm following the script. I'm hoping everybody's following the script. I may have had a headset, I don't remember so I could communicate with stage hands and with uh, the AV and lighting people. I really don't remember. I think my confidence came from encouragement that I received from Tim. For the two weeks from the time that he showed, he, he auditioned all these to me, the time we had to perform, we had about two weeks. And I talked to him constantly. He kept saying he put it in God's hands. God would do with it as God wanted to. So I, I kind of saddled up on that confidence pony and rode it. I rode it hard. And I think I must have, must have been okay. I don't really remember being very nervous. So I'm presenting this in Tim's honor. This is the title song, Sweet Resurrection. And Tim has the title part. He's going to play the part of Jesus Christ. Rubbing his bloodshot eyes, one soldier tipped his helmet back and realized he passed the night without sleep. The new day is about to begin. Without warning, the sound of stone grinding against stone caused his body to shake and his heart to pound wildly in his chest. Slowly, he turned around and a blinding light shot out from the tomb. The great stone continued to roll away and came to rest just as the dawn of the new world burst forth.
Now I have conquered And I have won By faith I walked among The valley of the dead I faced the tempter And took the keys The keys of hell and of the grave And of death And all my children I have redeemed And they are free For now I hold the title their report till inside of my mind I doubted I longed to run into my Lord the one who I denied but when I came unto the tomb I only found his burial And I have won By faith I walked among The valley of the dead I faced the tempter And took the keys Keys of hell And of grave And of death And all my children I have redeemed And they are free For now I hold the title
mentor, my teacher, my friend. This is for you. I will miss you on our annual text messages and for teaching me nothing is impossible. Just trust God. Thank you.